the most valuable driver of the series. Take a look back, though, at our first race of the season, Thunder Hill. Again, this was a race that wasn't dominated by the winner. Mike David up front there, rubbing a little bit with Eric Holmes. There's a contact. Greg Persley gets in the back of Mike David. This is on the last lap. Around David goes, and Greg Persley takes off for his first career victory. Disappointing night for Mike David. Take another look. Greg Persley, you know, aggressive. At the end of the race, that's what you've got to be if you want to win. Yeah, and Mike David was very aggressive in, in trying to use Eric Holmes up a little bit on the outside. That left the bottom of the racetrack open. Greg Persley got to the bottom and then ran into, obviously, Mike David going into turn one and goes on to victory right there. Greg Persley grabbing his first career win in 18 starts. His young career off to a great start in 2009. So plenty of fireworks taking place at Thunder Hill in our first race. I wonder if we'll have those same fireworks this week. Tony? All right, thanks, Rick. Greg Persley, no stranger to Victory Lane. Remember, he was the 2004 Wheelin All-American Series National Champion. But until our last race at Kyle, Texas, he had never gone to Victory Lane in the Camping World Series West. Greg, how important was that win for you and your team, not just because you sit atop the 2009 standings, but because you secured a spot in the Toyota All-Star Showdown? Oh, it was definitely great getting that win out of the way, getting that off our back, and it was a great way to start the season out, you know, leading the points and got that coming spot in the Toyota All-Star Showdown, so we don't have to worry about that now, and all we can do is go racing now, and hopefully we can come out of here with a good finish tonight. All right, Greg Persley, he'll try for two in a row here this evening, but he starts deep in the field. He'll roll off 12th. Yeah, Greg Persley starting, like you said, back there a ways. So he'll have to work his way through traffic, and it's difficult on a racetrack like this, a one-third mile oval. Yeah, and this racetrack actually used to be a quarter mile, and they actually extended it. And the banking is about seven degrees down in one and two, and it's progressive 10 to 14 down in three and four. One guy who really figured this racetrack out is Jason Bowles. He's with Tony. Jason Bowles sits on the pole position today, new track record, and you become the first driver to ever repeat as a pole winner here at All-American Speedway. I know you sat on the pole in this race one year ago, but had a poor finish. So what do you do differently tonight to try to get this forward to victory lane? Uh, we got to get a good start. Um, we struggled on the start initially a year ago, and uh, we we're just going to get out front and try and lead some laps and log some laps and try and stay out front, um, keep our nose clean all night, and uh, you know hopefully come out of here with a good finish. Um, you know, the, the guys from Sunrise Ford have done a great job today. They've given me an excellent car, and, you know, I think we're going to be good all night long. Currently sitting ninth in the standings, a win would go a long way for Jason Bowles here in 2009.